Hi, I'm Griff Patch. Welcome back to my scrolling platformer tutorial for Scratch. Now, you might have noticed that this little uh, level has changed a bit. Uh, I was going to look at uh, doing ed the exits today, um, but as it turns out, it's been reported to me that there's been a bit of an issue with the current platform as it is. And I'm going to show you that right here. What we've discovered is that the red color, of course, was the lava and that would kill you. But it actually kills you when it shouldn't. So, for example, if I walk over here to the edge of this platform and then jump, I die. If I walk over this white bit here and I jump, I die. Now, why is that? Well, the problem we're having here is that the way the scripts work at the moment is that I detect the uh, touching lava after I move the player, but before I move them out of a platform. So here, I'm traveling up into the air, coming down really fast and going through the platform, touching the red and dying before it moves me up to say I'm on top of the platform again. Oh, and that's a bit of a shame because that makes the scripts a lot more tricky. And I was trying to avoid having to have to do any tricky scripting. So today I'm going to show you how I would go about fixing this. Um, and to be honest, it's how I would have coded it myself anyway, had I been coding this platformer for myself. But I'd say I was trying to make it a little bit easier. But so sorry about that. I'm going to have to go a little bit harder. Um, You'll note we are using Scratch 3 now, which uh, has come around, so that's quite exciting. Uh, I've had to make the screen a little bit bigger for this YouTube tutorial because if it was uh, any smaller, you wouldn't have much size for my scripts. So I have added in a little bit of extra red on the uh, platformer sprites, as you can see, just for testing purposes only. So you don't have to bother adding those, but you can add them in if you like, just so you can test this feature happening on your uh, Scratch projects too. Right, to fix this, what we're going to do is we're going to split our platformers sprites into two different sprites, one for the platforms and one for the lava or the dangerous uh, areas. So let me just stop this project. So if you right click on platforms and duplicate them, let's move those together Ooh, like that. And then rename it as danger. Like that. Okay, now what we need to do now is in the danger sprites, go to the costumes. And what we need to do in each of the different uh, costumes for the different parts of the level, we've got to remove everything except for the bits that are dangerous. So just click in and delete. Pressing delete key does the trick. Next level, delete these bits. It's a blank sprite, but that's fine. Uh, next one, and delete these bits. So we are now left with only the bits that kill you in the danger sprite. So go back to the platform sprite. And then here we need to do the opposite. We need to only delete the bits that kill you. So if we delete the red bits, go to the next costume. No, that all stays. Only delete the red bit. OK. So now we've got to completely split out the platforms from the bits that hurt you. OK, let's just run that and just make sure that it is running. So here we are. Now you can see we can still see both the red bits and the platforms, just as if it had been a single costume. Now the reason it's working is because we just duplicated up this code and all of the scripts for positioning each of those level pieces and the danger pieces are exactly the same. So it's showing both sets. So what we'll find is that we still die if we jump here because we're still touching the red. So we need to change the scripts now not to be the touching red anymore. So let's stop that. So this is in our player sprite. Within the define change player X custom block, we've got this test die call. Now we no longer want that. So right click on test die and say delete block. That beautifully deletes that little block from within there, which is a new feature of Scratch 3, which is very useful rather than having to rearrange things a lot. Now we want to do the same in the change player Y. We can find that. Here it is. So get rid of the test die. Right click it. Delete block. OK, so now we shouldn't be able to die at all if we... There we go. So now we fall straight through any red because red is no longer... Um, platforms and all our touching scripts are touching platforms so it's no longer looking at those at all which is great so we can now fall through lava so all we need to do now is add back in a test that actually checks that we're touching real lava 
So if we go along to our script called test die, it used to be touching color red. So we're going to change that, get rid of the touching color red, and we're going to be having touching, the one that says touching mouse pointer, change it to be danger. So if we touch any danger sprites, then we're going to set exit. Now at the moment, we're no longer using this test die because we just removed it. So we need to put that back in. But this is the critical change because we can put it in after we've changed player Y here in the tick script. So let's just get that scroll out of the way. We're going to put it in just here. So we want to go to my blocks and do a test die just there and then put the scrolling back in. So what's going to happen now is it's going to move our player. We're going to be pushed back out of the platform like we want to be. And only then does it test to see if we're touching any lava still. Let's give that a run. So first off, there we go, we die. But let's try on the edge. Jump, jump, fine. Here, yeah, we're just fine. So I think that is going to solve all our problems. And it's quite nice because previously when we touch lava, we would only be on the surface of the lava. But now we actually can sink in it a bit before we die, which I quite like anyway. So that's great. OK, so that solves the problem and it's not too difficult to implement. But and here's the slight problem now. When you're designing your levels, you've got to design them in the platform script. So let's try another one. Duplicate a piece of platform level. I'm going to call it, oh, it's all laid, of course, it's labeled it already, layer 1 4. So we could draw our new bit of level in here just like we would have done in Scratch 2. Um, and we design it all hunky-dory like this. Copy, paste. OK. So here's our new level. But we want lava in this one too. Um, but of course, when we draw our lava in here, it's only going to be temporary. We're only going to draw it in here, and then we're going to have to move it into the danger sprite instead. Often it's useful to draw it in here, even so, because you're drawing it with the other part of the level visible. Otherwise, if you're drawing in here, you're drawing it blind, and it's very hard to know if you're drawing it in the right place. So there's that. The good thing about now the way we've done this um, lava is it doesn't have to be red anymore. You can actually have any colour you like. So let's choose a slightly different colour just for some fun about a slightly dangerous bluey dark purple. This we can test to make sure it works first. Let's add in a new clone for this new bit of level and we'll add it in just like we used to do. And I run that. Let's make sure that our new bit of level has appeared. Here it is. Good. But of course, purple is not going to kill us at all. In fact, purple is at the moment a solid platform because it's in the platforms. And we no longer want anything in platforms that we can't walk on that is going to kill you or anything. So we need to stop a project and we need to move our costume for the uh, death into the danger. So go into your costumes. And we need to copy this costume we've just drawn into danger. So drop it into danger. And then into danger, into the danger sprite, we can go and look. And what we can now do is remove everything that isn't dangerous from that sprite costume, like that. Then back into platforms and remove the dangerous bit. So in the platforms, we've got the new bit of level. In the danger, we've only got the danger. And that's almost everything. But remember, the scripts also need changing. So if you go into our scripts again, we need to add this extra clone into the danger sprite as well as this one. So let me just drop that into the danger sprite. And you want to put that into here too. So these scripts always have to stay the same in the two different sprites, the platforms and the danger, so that they're both being created in the same way. So let's run that and make sure it works. There we go. And if we go in, there we go, we die. Um, and 
that is it for this tutorial. Uh, sorry, it wasn't on the one I was going to do it on, but this is a pretty good fix that we need to do to make this game work more robustly. You can choose whether you want to do this or whether you don't, because you programs, they still work without these changes. But there are cases where you will get player dying if you're not careful and design the level in a way that uh, avoids it. So that concludes this tutorial. I hope you understand that. And I hope you'll also understand that now we can do more interesting uh, death uh, sprites because they can be all different colours too. And uh, that can make your level look a lot more fun because um, you can design it any way you like. So tune in next time. Bye now.